Hello everyone, Black Ice here, and welcome back to Langrel. Complete the monument. I did it. I did it right this time, guys. Awesome. Anyway, last time we left off, we were um, sort of pillaring up our way here in Culver Creek. I think what I'm going to do is pillar up in the exact spot I did before. Just make things a little bit easier, hopefully. I don't think I'll get all these soul sand blocks back, but... At the same time, I'm not really concerned too much about that because I think I'll get most of them back at the very least. And you know, I had quite a few anyway that I brought back here to pillar up. That and it just seems like that this is a pretty good area to be. And you know, if I get any closer to the sides of this uh, whatever this thing is here, then I feel like I'm in some kind of danger. But here, I feel at least a little bit safe. Alright, just gonna put a torch on there. Um, I forgot to light, well, I didn't really forget to light this up, I just didn't really have the time because of things that were going on, like, like that, like that. Okay, um, yeah, I'm just gonna, actually, let's put that there. Pillar, pillar up a little bit more here. Because I also want to light this area up much as I can. Oh, I can't reach that. Alright, so we're gonna have to make another scaffolding type thing here. Alright, so hopefully that helps. Um, a little bit scared because things can jump down on me, but uh, I guess it wouldn't be Culver Creek if it wasn't gonna scare you, right? That almost sort of makes sense. Oh god, <laughs> that is terrifying every time it happens. Um, let's see, I guess we can just light up a little bit over here, if I can reach, and there we go. And, sort of by the water, I guess, and that spawner there I want to get. But other than that, I think we're relatively okay here. Like, we're not completely going to die, right? Oh, hello, creeper. Um, I'm just gonna <laughs> put a torch right by his feet. You know what, I could probably just get rid of this one. Oh, 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 that creeper's drowning. Wow. GG, creeper. GG. Actually, can I get that one too? I can, that would be great. Oh, I can. Awesome. Alright, um, well, some of the upper spawners taken care of at least. Um, you know what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a little bit of a staircase type thing here. Gonna kind of run out of blocks, I feel though. You know what? Let's let's kill this guy. Or you know, I guess we don't really need to. Doesn't seem to be able to get us. All right, I do have to be careful about things that are up here. So I am going to. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Yep. They can. All right. We've reached the point where that is no longer safe. I'm going to go the other way. Dang it! Stupid creepers. Why you gotta be like that? Alright, um, let's go over it this way a little bit. And what other blocks do we have? So could use the moss stone, right? It's not a bad choice in my opinion. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Oh my goodness. Well, um, huh. Huh. Right. Uh, hi. Oh my gosh, this is just absolute insanity. This is absolute insanity right here. Uh, look at that guy. <laughs> He's listening to some kind of awesome music there. Oh! Did not see that coming. Did not see that coming. Okay, oh, hello all the creepers in the world. I'm just gonna leave this area for now so you guys can despawn. Oh man. Did not see that coming. You know what, that's okay though because I didn't die. And that was getting a little, like, too dangerous there. And what I want to do, though, is get some more soul sand, so... So let's grab some from here, because why not? The reason why I want more of this is so I can do the kind of the same thing I did to get back up there in the first place, which is just pillar up with it. I know I don't really need soul sand to do it. I don't know why I'm getting soul sand specifically, but... I don't know. It's something I just want to do, apparently. That should be good enough. Alright, let's head on out of here. 
so we can get far enough away so they despawn. I'm probably just going to head all the way back. I think that'd probably be a good option. Let's see, what is down here? Right, because there's that, and the staircase is this way. Or not. Or not. The staircase is this way, right? That's the staircase. Yes. Okay, well, close enough. Hmm, I, I wonder how I'm going to get up there fast enough. That's the only problem, because, I mean, pillaring up's okay, but I just have a feeling those guys are going to have all the time in the world they, they need to spawn, so it's a little bit scary. Um, not exactly sure what I'm going to do with it. I'm just going to walk out of here, actually. You know what? Maybe I can go set up that TNT trap. I don't know. I feel like this episode needs an explosion that's not caused by a creeper. I feel like I need to be able to get better at actually making those stupid jumps. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm trying my best. Don't know what's wrong with me today. Right, let's go on up here. And hopefully have a better time with this stupid jumpy puzzle that I made for myself. There we go, that's a lot better. Okay. Alright, so, um... That was... Oh, right, because, um... Hmm. I forgot there was, like, a staircase down. Hmm, how did I do this? It went like that. Should probably at least light this up, right? Alright, uh, yeah, this area does not seem like a safe place to try this. So I'm not going to. I thought I'd have an easy way out, so... Yeah, there's that. Um, so we can cover it back up. There we go. And let's just, uh, I guess we can head on back. You know, no sense completely leaving Culver Creek. You don't need to go all the way, all the way back. Just all the way back to the beginning of this place. And hopefully that is the end of this place that we were seeing up there. Because that will mean... Well, that will make me a very happy guy, because I don't have to be here anymore. I don't like Culver Creek. I mean, it's awesome, but I hate it, you know? It's like one of those, uh... Like Dark Souls. I'm sure a lot of people hate that game because of its difficulty, but it's still an awesome game. I personally have not played it, so I can't say either way my opinion on the matter, but... Um... And not that that even matters, I'm just trying to give a comparison, because I don't, like, hate it, as in, like, dislike it with a lot of, um, I don't know, emotion, passion. I just, uh, I just don't like the, the whole me dying, you know, a lot. I haven't died off camera this time, though, so that's a, that's a plus, that's a really good way to open the episode, not dying off camera. Um, of course, that... You know, I didn't actually do anything off camera, but hey, I didn't die, right? I don't know, I heard those zombies, but I don't don't want anything to do with them. Let's keep jumping. I don't mind jump running now that I have all the steak. Um, I am getting hungry again, though. But I'm just going to eat one just so I have the saturation, because I'm going to need it for well, one pillaring up and two when I actually get up there. I got to try to do this as fast as I can. So, I'll be doing that, and hopefully not getting blown up in the process. Alright. I don't think they can spawn from quite when I'm down here, but... You know, I still just don't even want to give these creepers the time of day. Just let them do their thing. Don't let them spawn. That way I can do my thing and get up there and disable the spawners. Because once I do that, this becomes a whole lot easier. Come on, come on. Yeah, now's when I really have to hurry. I just can't stand there too long, because what I was doing was I was making all these scaffoldings and, you know, trying to make sure that everything's all safe, and it's a good idea and all, but I really have to... Oh, wow, they really did a number on my staircase thingy. Um, yeah, I guess that's what I get for using the soul sand, but, uh, come on. Oh, oh, that was weird. Alright, um, I'm just gonna do this. Uh, like that, right? Alright, and 
Just gonna light all this up. I see a thing. I see a thing. Guys, I see a thing. Uh, come on. To light up the rest of this area. No! Actually, you know what? I don't care if you blow up. Just, just do that. Oh, perfect. You launched your friend across the room. That's exactly what I wanted you to do. Alright, um, I actually am going to take these spawners completely out. Or, oh god. <sighs> it scares me every single time. The reason I'm going to take these out, or at least the ones I can see, is because this area is insanely dangerous. So I'm not going to even chance it. Alright, um, is there one more? No, that's all of them up here. Oh, well, you know, unless there's some over here, which is, uh, there you go, you're dead. Very big possibility. Is there anything under the water here? Oh, uh, yeah, there is. Uh, I wonder if that's more creepers, or if that's the zombie guys again. Um, we'll have to see. I kind of like that, though. But anyway, we have a fleecy box. Been a while. Been too long, even. Come on. And, uh, yeah, that's my dog sneezing in the background, so there you go. Bonus cuteness for the video, right? Yellow wool. Awesome. Alright, um, I want to check this out. It's probably a really bad idea. But, you know, I'm curious. Is there anything in here at all? Oh yeah, it is uh, the zombie spawner. Okay. Well, not anymore, but, you know. Okay, well, that's kind of what I thought was in there. And, yes, we are finally done with Culver Creek. Oh god, that was scary. Uh, <laughs> I, I just uh, stopped talking there because I was riding the waterfall. And the creeper went to explode. He was, he was getting ready. He knew what was up. He knew that he didn't want me getting out of here with his precious yellow wool. But you know what? I have bested this place. I don't think I've... No, that's not true. <laughs> I was going to say, I don't think I've died in Culver Creek, but then I remembered I died like a couple episodes ago. You know, that time when I died and lost all my stuff and had to reset? Yeah, that was great. Anyway, now that we're done with Culver Creek, we can sort of check out the next area. Um, but I don't want to get into the next area in this video, at least not too much. Simply because it's just not enough time. And, oh, god dang it. I did it again. And I'm not doing myself any favors. I'm not creating any, any more time here for sure. Alright, I'm going to eat the steak. And I kind of want to go around that way because it's the easier way to actually traverse. I don't know why I thought this was a good idea. I mean, these jumpy puzzle things aren't hard, I guess. They're just, they just get too impatient and try to rush it. Alright, so let's get on up here. And, you know, another reason why I'm not going to take on the next area today is because I don't have enough time. Or, pff, well, that was the first reason I gave you. The other reason is that I'm not prepared for it. I mean, I don't really have many things. Um, but what I can do is run to the Victory Monument, place a wool. And in doing that, I will have succeeded in creating a successful episode of Lane Grohl. Yes, I wanted to say that. Don't know why exactly, but and you know this time I don't have to. I don't have to walk. I can run because I have all the awesome food. I can get more food. I'll probably do a little bit of farming and such off camera. Um, I don't know if that would even be progress that's worth noting. I mean, you know, I told you I'm going to do it. That should probably be enough. Simply because, well, I mean, it, you know, I'm going to be farming cows and, you know, maybe wheat and stuff, but is it really important that you know exactly the amount of, like, everything that I got? Yeah, I don't know. Anyway, yellow wool. Oh, yeah, so we got one, two, three, four pieces of wool on the monument. We are nearing our way to more success. I'm guessing, just, I'm just gonna take a guess that the wool in the next area is gonna be light blue. Because it seemed that they've sort of been in order there-ish, except for the black wool. And the white wool I haven't gotten yet, so... You know, I, I almost kind of wonder if I just missed the white wool. 
Um, I don't think I did. I think I'll get the white wool like late in the game. But uh, we'll see. We'll see. Anyway, let's go run them back to our intersection. Intersection 1. Um, yeah, it was day out there, right? Yeah, so... Again, I'm not going to be able to sleep in that bed. It seems like it's always day when I, when I want to go sleep there. But really, they should make it in Minecraft so you don't have to sleep at night. You can sleep whenever because... Um, I don't know. I just don't like that. You know? I mean, if you're really tired enough, you're going to sleep whenever. You don't care if it's a day. But, um, I'm just going to eat this piece of steak. And we'll go on down to, uh... Oh, man, I forgot the name of this place. It was a castle, though. Stormcliff Castle. Alright, well, hopefully there's not actual cliffs here, because then I'll probably be dying of fall damage. But other than that, this place seems awesome. And yes, I've made a little way up here before. I forgot about that, actually. But I haven't seen this area. I for sure haven't seen this area, so don't worry about that. The surprise element is not lost, because I didn't go all the way down this corridor. And I'm just a little bit concerned there might be a tripwire or something, and... Well, we have all the vines in the world. Um, can I just, like, I don't know, place blocks? Oh. Oh, that's a little bit scary. Um, the heck is with this place? Alright, um, well, lots of vines. I wanted to show off the area, but, oh, there's the castle. Oh, that's cool. Um, I'm just gonna bridge out a little bit here, and if my guess is correct, then I think something we're gonna want to do is build a boat get over that way and yeah it's definitely looking like wow this is a really cool place there's a chest over there it looks like right there I think there's a spinning spider it looks like it could be a cave spider more coal that's gonna be big um, so yeah it's definitely worth exploring but for getting the wool the I'd probably just want to rush the castle I'm guessing it's in there, but uh, we'll see. We'll see. So I will make a little bit of way down here so I have a launching point for the boat. And I know that, you know, I kind of have the vines here so I can use that to my advantage, but... Um, hmm. Oh, perfect. Perfect. I can get all the way down to water level. Let's go out here. And let's place a torch for some light. Okay, yeah, this is a good launching point. At least I think so. Oh, and there's like currents in the water. That's pretty cool. I like that. I mean, it really, like, it's not uh, that they messed up placing the water. That's meant to be currents. And I'm not just saying, oh, yeah, haha, <laughs> currents. Yeah, that's got totally messed up. No, that is actually currents, and I think that's a really cool idea. But, uh, yeah, that's, that's Stormcliff Castle over there, so... Anyway, that's going to do it for me for today. Uh, I'm going to do some off-camera work, and next time, we'll take on the castle. Thank you all so much for watching. Really hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you in the next video. Till then, goodbye, everyone. Have a great day.